Reload, but there's a dragon strike which will force them off. Christian wants to hold it for about now to make sure time runs out while the dragon is still in effect. South Korea, it's dangerous to get too close, but they keep faith just on top of that payload. Lei Young wants to chase him, but he gets the call to back out. He does get away with just a sliver of help, but it's enough to keep him inside his mech. Having a mini diva or a D-Mech diva, as it were, in this. And he has his the self destruct goes through. South Korea still contesting, but they lose Fury. That's big. You don't have that diva. There are no defense matrix. You see how low fate's going. There'll be a transcendence that keeps them alive for the time being. That will answer the dragon, but Arnimo hasn't been able to push out yet because he was forced away by the dragon. But Flatter, he's going to take the direct approach. They get off the payload, though. They weren't able to keep it going. They had players there, too. Yep. They have to prevent China from getting at least that far for 2 minutes and 19 seconds. A very long amount of time. Metal Fortitude. Golden Boy talked about it on the desk. Greg doesn't, doesn't know the meaning know of the about, word. I don't know what he's talking about. But this is where South Korea and China especially right, need to get a bash and roll out here. All right, well, Johnny thought it was only for them, but no. There was another. Shy on the payload now with the Bastia. We love it. Some classic Overwatch here, ladies and gentlemen. A variant on the pirate ship strategy. Shy is waiting. He knows they're going to drop down. This is when you start to clench your teeth and get ready. Flutter takes a little bit of damage and forced away. Fate's bubble immediately disintegrates now, and Shy is just churning on forward. Damage now on towards Fate as he tries to drop on him. Shy is put to sleep. That's the pick off. That's what South Korea needed. But Carpe's gone down. They trade out damage dealers. But their Bastion is missing for China, and he is the centerpiece of their composition. Pressing forward. Hold use now. Flutter keeping the shield up and his team alive. He has rally if he needs it. But South Korea don't want to commit further to the fight. Crystal's brought back into the fray for South Korea. They're not about this kind of cheesy play, man. They're not having any of them trying to hold the fort. One minute left, but Fates in the back line. He's got into the cookie jar and there's nothing left. And self destruct three really good ultimates. And that's the risk of running the pirate ship at the beginning. Is that uh, if it doesn't work, if they're able to dislodge you off the payload as Ashton, it forces a lot of changes. Carpe will go Hanzo here. You get some extra damage. The Dragon Strike to split some players off of the card. Can pressure the Reinhardt down a lot. Fate can't really just drop down on his ledger. He needs to stay here. Gush was taking quite a lot of damage and Flutter goes in over the top in South Korea. They're getting aggressive. Gush has been taken down. Shai is also missing lead down to the Southless Trap and his Crystal. There's nobody left for China. It's South Korea. Wave after wave of China has broken upon them and it's barely left a dent. Now, two seconds left. Gushwin needs to get there, but he's moved on a high ground. Dominance reaffirmed for South Korea. They were doubted, making roster changes before this event, but the three-peat has been completed. The legacy is lengthened. The dynasty is strengthened. And all eyes on South Korea as our gold medalist here at the 2018 Overwatch World Cup. You know, a lot of pressure on them coming into this event. A lot of you know, the teams, the other teams here competing down to them. They make the roster changes late. But they've been so good at the previous World Cup events, but nobody from those teams put up a very good fight there on Gibraltar. They really started to find their footing. Just wasn't enough. And once again, South Korea will hold the Overwatch World Cup trophy aloft. And we're going to head down to the stage now. Danny with Carpe. South Korea has done it again, everybody. Carpe, you and your team have completely dominated this tournament. And you guys are taking back or taking home the gold medal back to Korea for three years in a row. What does that mean for you and for South Korea? 네, 한국 팀원들 그리고 또 카라페 군 드디어 한국이 또 다시 해냈습니다. 3년 연속 월드컵 우승을 하셨는데요. 카라페 군에게는 그게 어떤 의미가 있는지 또 한국에게는 어떤 의미가 있을까요? 어, 우선 저에게는 제가 오버워치 프로 하면서 이제 처음 우승하는 거라 거기다 월드컵이라는 것까지 해서 너무 큰 어, 선물인 것 같고요. 그리고 또 한국 so for me personally, this is my first um, award, winning of the first uh, medal, gold medal, uh, as after playing Overwatch as a pro player. So that actually re means a lot to me. And as for South Korea, we have defended this gold medal for three years. So 
It feels really good. All righty, thank you. One more question, Carpe. So, do you think winning the gold medal for three years, does that prove the fact that Korean players are the best Overwatch players in the world? 자, 3년 연속 한국 팀이 오버워치 월드컵을 우승을 했는데요. 그게 어떻게 보면 좀 한국 어, 사람들이 조금 오버워치를 전 세계에서 잘한다라고 말을 할수 있는 좀 얘기를 할수 있는 건가요? 어, 네, 당연한 것 같아요. Of course. Alrighty, that is it. Everybody, give it up for South Korea. Back to you guys, casters. Woo! Hey, you have me. Hey, hello. BlizzCon, all right, we're live. Thank you, everyone. On behalf of all of us at Blizzard Entertainment, just want to congratulate the back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back world champions, South Korea. Zoe, will you do the honors with the medals? I had to go to the sneaker store specifically for this ceremony to keep up with these guys. All right, give it up one more time for your world champion, South Korea. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for our top three of the 2018 Overwatch World Cup. And now for it's time to find out who is walking away with the T-Mobile MVP for the 2018 Overwatch World Cup. And there's no one better to do the honors than the CEO of T-Mobile, John Ledger. Let me trade you, bud. Well, congratulations to both teams on an amazing tournament and epic finals. T-Mobile is very proud to be part of this. We asked the fans to help us choose who's gonna go home with the T-Mobile MVP award. The Overwatch community has spoken, and this year's MVP is Jonak. Let's hear it again, your MVP, Jonah! Absolutely well deserved. Now, it's been quite a ride through the group stages, now here on the big stage, and you outperformed yourself in every single game. So I have to ask, what does it mean to you to receive such an award? representing your country, South Korea. Overwatch World Cup에서 조낙 선수 너무나도 너무나도 잘하셨습니다. 어, 쉽게 말하면 지금 이 트로피 조낙 선수에겐 무슨 의미가 있나요? 네? 의미요. 어, 일단 진짜 엄청 큰 의미인 것 같아요. 그리고 제가 리그에서도 정규 시즌 MVP 받았는데 어, 이건 한국을 대표해서 한 거잖아요. 그래서 이게 더 저는 답지다고 생각합니다. It definitely means a lot for me. Um, I also was picked as, gratefully, um, I was picked as the MVP for Overwatch League as well. But I feel like since this trophy, this specific trophy is, I got it as a representative of South Korea. So I feel like this has way more value. All right, all right, there you have it. Now, Jonak, you are basically a walking highlight reel on a daily. But uh, I guess that makes this question a little bit hard to answer. What was your proudest moment? Just your personal proudest moment during the Overwatch World Cup? So, you know, you don't mind me, Jonak Sun Sui Pili, who went and called you, Korodan, in highlight young sang, Irago, by similar hedges on the Kamakam Saretan, and Tishi. So, sorry, one more time, what was the question? Uh, what was his personal, like, proudest moment? 꼭 뽑아야 된다면 지금 오늘 이 오버워치 월드컵에서 활동을 하면서 어 제일 좀 이거 정말 잘했다 이 플레이는 정말 좋았다 하는 것은 어 딱히 
하나가 생각나질 않고 그냥 다 잘한 것 같아요. I honestly can't pick one, and I think I did pretty well all throughout. Yeah, I mean that's uh, pretty much true. There you have it. Thank you so much, Jonah.